Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we're doing the recording of 2nd of October's Godly Blessing, where Supreme Father wants us to change ourselves, change the way we think about others, so as to bring about a change in the attitude of people around us. Now we try to change other people with the wrong attitude. That brings about no change in them and makes us frustrated, makes us irritated about it. So then there must be a middle path, there must be a way to change all those things. So let's see, let's explore. What the Supreme Creator, the Supreme Giver of Knowledge has to say over here. Supreme Father says, May you be full of good wishes and pure feelings and remain constantly alert by remaining aware of your responsibility. So God says, You children are responsible for changing the natures and attitudes of human beings. We are responsible. Why we are responsible? Because we are the first ones who actually spoiled everything. Now you'll say, how did you spoil everything? Or how did I spoil everything? God says, for that you need to know how many births you have taken in this complete cycle of drama. We're talking about the golden age, the silver age, the copper age, and now the iron age, which is also known as Kaliuga. So some of us have been here from Satyug, Treta, Dwapar and Kaliuga, being here as ancient elderly souls on this journey for a very long time. Some of us have come just now. Some of us have come thousands of years back, changing different bodies. So we are the ones who, at certain point of time, changed everything. We changed the attitudes of people. We brought them from pure to impure. And now it is our duty to change from impure to pure. So let's explore further. God then says, However, you can only fulfill this responsibility when your attitude is full of good wishes and pure feelings and is sato pradhan that means completely pure we don't want anything in return for that and powerful so good wishes could be you are thinking good about them even if somebody has done something to you or harmed you financially physically mentally emotionally relationship wise you still have good wishes for them in all of these areas of their life very crucial and pure feelings towards them any hurt feelings any negative feelings, any feelings of impurity are going to actually affect us first and reduce our capacity to actually change other people. God then says, and it's Sato Pradhan. Sato Pradhan means completely elevated, divine kind of feelings and thoughts for them and powerful. No matter what they do again, if they've hurt us 10 years back, if they come to hurt us now also, still we have the same feelings. But yes, you're protecting yourself this time. How do you protect yourself? Not by taking revenge, not by replying back, but by not thinking what they say. And by the way, when you have these beautiful feelings and good wishes for them, that itself becomes an aura of protection for you as a soul or a software or an energy. Then God says the awareness of your responsibility enables you to remain alert at all times. To give every soul liberation and liberation in life. See, liberation means people today are in the habit, it's become like a automated software for them to get irritated, for them to take revenge. God says, you can teach them a method that even while they are in the habit of taking revenge or saying certain ill things or have an ill feeling towards you, you can still change them by having good wishes for them. By having good wishes is very important for you and me. Why? Because it keeps our hormonal level stable keeps our white blood cells powerful and red blood cells powerful it keeps our immunity high now you must be thinking okay i think about good wishes and i keep myself high what about that person yes you're right that person who's thinking evil about you is reducing their immunity reducing their white blood cell count reducing their chances of having a long life as simple as that so you don't need to worry about what they say they're actually having a bad effect on themselves then God says to give every soul liberation. So you have to help them to be liberated. If you also put oil into the fire, if you also get revengeful, if you also get angry, if you also get disdainful, if you also take any kind of action, whether in thoughts or words, automatically you are same as them. So God says detach yourself because they want to change and they don't know how to do it. For that, we have to show them how to change, how to not take revenge, how not to have bad wishes, how not to have evil thoughts. 
is the method to show them how to change. When you calm down, they will calm down automatically. Might take time, but it will happen. I'm speaking from experiences. People change when you change. God then says, to give every soul liberation and liberation in life and the right to their inheritance is a huge responsibility. Therefore, never be careless and do not let your attitude be ordinary. Ordinary means like everybody else. The whole world is getting angry. It's the only method to get things done. Ordinary thinking. You have to take revenge, otherwise people will again come and bite you. Ordinary thinking. You have to lie to earn money. Ordinary thinking. When will the change happen then? Why are we cribbing and crying about a bad world around us and we are saying it's because of them when we are not ready to change? Think about this. And this is what God wants us to do. It's easy. Why? Because when you think about yourself, your mental state, your health state, your relationship state, is all going to flourish. But if you think it from the worldly point of view, if I don't reply, if I don't get angry, well, at the moment or that instant you might feel successful or powerful because you've replied back, you've taken revenge. But on a longer journey, it's a big loss. So, more about it at Brahma Kumari Center or you can join up the 15th of October session which is being taken again. Self-healing through meditation. You can come and join me on my WhatsApp number which is going to be shown down below over here. With this Om Shanti.